welcome back we are still on the topic construction in the previous video we solved a likely examination question on construction in this video we are going to solve another question the question is using a ruler and a pair of compasses only i construct a quadrilateral pqrs such that the length of the side QR is equal to 7 centimeters. The angle PQR is equal to 90 degrees. The length of the side PQ is equal to 6 centimeters. The length of the side PS is equal to the length of the side SR. And the angle PSR is equal to 60 degrees. II. Construct the perpendicular bisector of the line QR. To meet the line PR at X. III. Construct the bisector of the angle PRS to meet the line PX at Y. And B. Measure the length of the line XY. So this is our question. We are going to answer the first part in this video. Then we will consider the remaining ones in the next video. To understand how to go about this construction very clearly, let's begin by making a freehand sketch of the quadrilateral. The question is asking us to construct the quadrilateral PQRS, and we have been given all this information about the quadrilateral. We have learned that we will have to select one of the sides to be the base. I'm going to select the side PQ to be the base. So the side PQ with length 6 cm will be my base. So we have the side PQ with length 6 centimeters here. We have learned from the previous videos that when you are constructing a quadrilateral, you have to construct such that the vertices will follow the same order as it is given to you in the question. In the question, the vertices are in the order PQRS. So in the quadrilateral that we will construct, the vertices should be in the order PQRS. That means that if we have point P here and point Q here, then point R will be somewhere here and point X will be somewhere here. So that the vertices will be in the order PQRS. The question tells us that the angle PQR is 90 degrees. So, we will have to construct a 90 degrees angle on point Q. So we have a 90 degrees angle on point Q here. And the side QR is 7 centimeters. So the length of the side QR will give us 7 centimeters. Now, here's where the question gets very interesting. It tells us that the length of the side PS is equal to the length of the side SR. This means that if we know the position of point S, and we draw a line from point P to point X, and we draw another line from point S to point R, the length of the side PS will be equal to the length of the side SR. And the angle formed at point X here, which is the angle PSR, is equal to 60 degrees. By doing this, we will have the quadrilateral PQRS. But before we can do this, we will first have to know the position of point X. Let's find out how to find the position of point X. To get the position of point X in our construction, we will first have to draw a line to join point P to point R. When we draw a line to join point P to point R, it will give us one of the diagonals of the quadrilateral. As we can clearly see, the line PR is a diagonal of the quadrilateral PQRS. At the same time, when we draw the line to join point P to point R, we form the triangle PSR. Let's consider this triangle PSR very carefully. We can see that in the triangle PSR, the side PS has the same length as the side SR. In the videos on triangles under plane geometry, we learned that in a triangle, if two sides have the same length, 
then the angles formed at the base of those two sides are equal. This means that in the triangle PSR, because the side PS and the side SR have the same length, the angle formed at point P here, which is the angle SPR, and the angle formed at point R here, which is the angle SRP, will have the same value. So if the angle formed here is X, then the angle formed here will also be X. In the videos on triangle and the plane geometry, we learned that the sum of the interior angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So if we add all the interior angles in the triangle PSR, we should get 180 degrees. So we can say that X plus X plus 60 degrees will give us 180 degrees. Let's find the value of X x plus x will give us 2x so we have 2x plus 60 degrees is equal to 180 degrees we are going to solve for x so we will have 2x is equal to 180 degrees minus 60 degrees and this will give us 2x is equal to 120 degrees we will divide both sides by 2 and x will give us 60 degrees so the value of x here is 60 degrees this means that the angle here is 60 degrees and the angle here is also 60 degrees. Now look at what we have. In the triangle PSR, all the interior angles are equal. Each one of them is 60 degrees. In the videos on triangles and the plane geometry, we learned that if all the interior angles in a triangle are equal, then that triangle is an equilateral triangle. This means that the triangle PSR we have here is an equilateral triangle. And one of the properties of an equilateral triangle is that the length of all the sides are equal. This means that in this triangle PSR, which is an equilateral triangle, the length of the side PS is equal to the length of the side SR and at the same time equal to the length of the side PR. With this information, we can easily find the position of point X and construct the quadrilateral PQRS. Now that we have all this information about the quadrilateral, let's begin with the construction. As usual, we will begin by drawing a long horizontal line. So you take the ruler and you draw a long horizontal line. Have the horizontal line here. The side I'm using as the base is the side PQ with length 6 cm. So you take the compass and you measure 6 cm on the ruler. You put the needle of the compass on point 0 and you stretch the part holding the pencil to 6 cm, which will be 60 mm on my ruler. After that, you transfer it onto the line. I'll put the needle of the compass on this point and I'll turn it construct an arc to intersect the line then I'll put the needle on this point turn it to this side and construct another arc to intersect the line just as I've done here this is point P and this is point Q the length of the side PQ is 6 centimeters let's move on to the angle the angle given to us is angle PQR which is 90 degrees. So we are going to construct a 90 degrees angle on point Q. To do that, you put the needle of the compass on point Q, then you adjust the compass to a reasonable radius. After doing that, you turn it and you construct a semicircle on the line PQ using point P as the center. Now, after constructing the semicircle, you move the needle to this point. You adjust the compass a little bit, then you turn it and you construct an arc. After constructing the arc with the same radius, you move the needle of the compass to this point. You turn it and you construct another arc to intersect the first arc that you constructed. The two arcs intersect at this point. To get the 90 degrees angle at point K, we will draw a straight line to join the point of intersection of the two arcs to point Q. 
The question tells us that the length of the side QR is 7 cm. So to get QR, you have to measure 7 cm on the ruler. I'll put the needle of the compass on 0, then I'll stretch the part holding the pencil to 7 cm, which will be 70 mm on my ruler. After that, you move the needle of the compass to point Q. Then you turn it and you construct an arc to intersect the line. The point of intersection of the arc and the line will give us point R. The length of the side QR is 7 cm. We now have point P, point Q, and point R. We are left with the point S. From our sketch, we saw that the length of the diagonal PR is equal to the length of the side PS and also equal to the length of the side SR. So let's start by drawing the diagonal PR. That is what we have here. We saw from our sketch that the length of this diagonal PR is equal to the length of the side PS and at the same time equal to the length of the side SR. So to get PS and SR, you will have to measure the length of PR using the compass. So you put the needle of the compass on point P, then you stretch the part holding the pencil to point R. We saw from the sketch that the length of PR is equal to the length of PS. The needle of the compass is already on point P. So to get PS, you will turn the compass to this side and construct an arc. We also saw from the sketch that the length of PR is also equal to the length of SR. We have already measured PR using the compass. So to get SR, you move the needle of the compass to point R. Then you turn it and construct an arc to intersect the first arc that we constructed. The point of intersection of the two arcs will give us point S. I'm going to clean this part of the arc and I'll clean this part also so that you can see the point very clearly. We now have point P, point Q, point R, and point S. To get the side PS, we will draw a straight line to join point P to point S. And to get the side SR, we will draw a straight line from point S to point R. We are not done with the construction of the quadrilateral PQRS. I'm going to take both the compass and the ruler off so that you can see the quadrilateral very clearly. The length of the side PQ is 6 cm. The angle PQR is 90 degrees. The length of the side QR is 7 cm. From the information given to us, we saw that the length of the diagonal PR is equal to the length of the side PS and at the same time equal to the length of the side SR and the angle PSR is 60 degrees. We are not done with the solution to the first part of the question. In the next video, we are going to continue with the solution to the remaining parts. So we'll see you in the next video and let's continue with the solution. Bye-bye.